butter my bread triumph 21 right there i hate to disappoint by the way how we doing have a great weekend if you're hopefully you're doing a long run maybe actually let me know in the comments are you doing your long run this weekend in the triumph 21 or the triumph 20 that's right any shoe in the eights for all the new subscribers any shoe that gets above eight in the final score here in the studio uh get ends up in the shelf over here what am I, I'm just going to say right now, this guy is going to make it right there, right next to its younger, actually, sorry, older brother, the Triumph 20. How many people bought the Triumph 20 in 2023 and enjoyed it? I loved it, everybody. All right, there's the Triumph 20, and here's the good news, and this is why I, I hate to disappoint. This, this review is going to be very simple, very straightforward, straight to the point, because guess what? The shoe did not change from the Triumph 20 to the 21. It, it, okay, it changed a little bit, mostly in the upper. We'll talk about that in one second. But you know when a running shoe, uh, all right, let's just throw a couple out. Um, uh, I'm gonna say like the, okay, I'm gonna say the Rebel 3 to the Rebel 4, kind of a dramatic change. And I'm not gonna say it's all for the better. What's another example? Well, I'm gonna go, I'll say Nova Blast. Like, the one and the two I liked, actually the one I loved, the two I also loved, but then it, it definitely, was it the three to the four or the two to the three? Anyway, the girth of the Nova Blast lineup changed a lot as well. Well, when a running shoe company decides and listens to the people, and I think a lot of people, and yes, let us know in the comments, did you enjoy the Triumph 20 last year? Um, I think you're also going to like the Triumph 21. And you might just want to pick up, if you can find your size, the Triumph 20 at this point, because it's, it's again, the only cha major change is the upper material. Let's just dive into it right now. Uh, and yes, question of the day. Uh, what is a running shoe that you, uh, basically the iteration from one to the next, it changed dramatically and you did not like the change and why? What shoe was it? Uh, thankfully, this shoe did not change dramatically. Good job, Saucony. Okay, so let's go. Engineered mesh, flat knit. All right, whatever flat knit needs, okay? So the upper material in the 21 is more of a knit feel. Now, I would suspect that the knit in hot summer temperatures might feel a little warm if you live somewhere really warm, uh, you know, somewhere where it's humid as well. And I don't know if I like that approach. That's why the score on the upper of the 21 just came down a little bit from the 20 from last year's final studio scores. But upper, as far as the lockdown, the same full gusset. Um, I will say maybe just a little bit. All right. It's hard to really judge uh, the tongue is is basically the the identical same, but the um, basically the space in the collar in the heel counter may be expanded just a smidge from the twenty from the twenty to the twenty one. Meaning there's just a little more space in that heel pocket there, just a little bit. But again, same amount of plushness from the twenty to the twenty one. So if you like the upper and the Triumph twenty, you're gonna like the upper and the twenty one. Just keep in mind the material just changed a little bit. Uh, from from engineered mesh to the flat knit. Other than that, everyone, and that's why this uh, this review is going to be very simple and straightforward. Uh, Power Run Plus through both midsoles. Okay, I love Power Run Plus. I'll just I'll say right now, tweener shoe, long run, daily trainer. If you had to, you could do a you know. A, I would say more of a fart lick than a tempo run, but you know, it's, it's a little heavy. There's the weight score. Um, it's a good weight score. Be uh, yeah. Solid weight score because it is a tween. It does have tweener capabilities, meaning you can use it for different types of runs. And, but again, the geometric shaping of the midsole really, I mean, uh, just to the eye test, it's like, it's, it's the same. It's just exactly the same. And the outsole, there it is, XT900 rubber, placed exactly the same as the, tri from 21 to the, from the 20 to the 21. Just, it's the same. So I don't know what else to say. I love the shoe. It made it back into the eights. Long run, daily trainer. Um, I would even, I'm just trying to think here. Would I, what kind of, yeah. I wouldn't race in it just because it is a little heavy, but if I was knocking out a half marathon and the half marathon was simply, oh my goodness, I need to take this phone call. It's really urgent. Um, I will be right back. 
So I guess what I'm trying to say, and by the way, there is the comment of the day from last year's, of course, Triumph 24 review. If you want maybe more detail on this shoe, go watch last year's review, and I'll link to it upper right-hand corner. Um, I'm excited. Good job, Saucony. Not changing the shoe. Again, a go-to long run option and $160, you know, it's, it's fair. I think, you know, it's, it's fair. I'm, uh, I'm always, always more excited if it's like $10 cheaper, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with $160. I absolutely would pay that kind of price again. Oh yeah. Build quality. Like, I don't know. And send me photos of your Triumph 20s. I heard through the grapevine, you guys sent me emails that a lot of people got at least 400 miles out of their Triumph. Like this is, this shoe is not going to break down in 250 miles. So 500 miles, that's pretty good as far as the, uh, now maybe the durability of the midsole won't last a full 500, but at least that outsole with that XT900 rubber will. All right, onward we go. I know that was simple, a little hasty uh, there in the review, but it's, it, it, they, they did it. They kept it the same, and that is a good, good thing. All right, Triumph 20 right there. Have a great weekend. Talk to you guys later. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other.